Terry Smith is called the Warren Buffett of Great Britain. He runs uh, Fund Smith. He's a CEO, and Fund Smith has done a stellar performance over the last 13 years. Between 2010 and 2020 uh, or 2021, his fund has returned at approximately CAGR of 18 percentage. What does Terry Smith do differently? Well, his approach is completely about quality, quality, and quality. Now, here is, uh, so he has written a book called Investing for Growth, which is a must-read book. And uh, it is a compilation of all his letters and articles, uh, fund shareholder letters and all, and a uh, lot of in lessons to be learned from that book. But here are three key takeaways that uh, what Terry Smith calls it as the path to heaven. Now, what are those three steps? First one, invest in good companies. Second one, don't overpay. And third one, stay invested. Don't do anything, do nothing. Now let's get into each of this. So a good company is a company that creates value, is a one which creates value for shareholders by returning high return on invested capital above the cost of capital, significantly above the cost of capital across the business and economic cycle. A company that generates high returns on invested capital and are able to redeploy continuously, you know, that higher returns on top of the cost of capital will be able to sustain that reinvestment opportunity can make significant returns for shareholders. So a company that returns high ROIC, that is high returns on invested capital or over the cost of capital, which is nothing but the capital. Uh, when a company raises capital, uh, what is the cost of capital? How much percentage of, uh, you know, weighted average cost of capital, how much percentage of interest uh, it has to pay, the company has to pay to get the capital. It could be to, from a shareholders, it could be by raising equity, it could be from uh, financing or through a lending, whatever mechanism it is, what is the cost of capital and how much return on investor capital companies generating on top of cost of capital and the ability to reinvest this higher returns consistently for long periods of time will give super normal returns for investors. That is a simple concept of what do you mean by investing in good quality companies. Now, uh, it's not easy to find such companies because it is not easy to get continuously high returns on invested capital uh, because the competition will come in and take away the market share or put your put a pricing pressure on the products or services. So it is very difficult to sustain that higher returns on invested capital for long periods of time. But there are companies who does it. And if you can find those companies, the idea is very simple. And uh, what Warren Buffett and Terry Smith and others did is find companies that can return even six to seven percentage on top of on top of the cost of capital and consistently do that for long periods of time that has high pricing power significantly strong pricing power and those kind of companies uh, you know once you find it even if the appreciation is 18 to 20 percentage the compounding over long periods of time for 18 20 percentage will make a significant returns for shareholders so that is the simplest idea they follow and uh, they've been successfully doing it over decades right so that is investing in good quality companies now second one is don't overpay now that is a common sense when it when somebody is investing their money or capital into anything it doesn't have to be stocks alone it could be land it could be gold whatever it has to be an asset that is available cheap or available at a good price. It should not be that you go and invest at the peak of a cycle for paying much higher price and you end up you know, paying higher price, your returns get subdued. So it is important to not overpay. And third one, according to Terry Smith, is the most difficult thing to do, which is do nothing after investing. He says the most challenging part of an investment strategy is to have a patience uh, of sitting and doing nothing once you find these uh, stellar companies. And uh, these are the three high level principles. So if you find his, uh, if you follow his book, there are much more details to it. I would recommend doing that. But this is a high level takeaway from this book and Terry Smith's three steps to heaven principles. Trust this was helpful. Signing off, Sandeep Anand.